Hi everyone, this is Nell and welcome back to my channel. I know a lot of you, especially to those who followed me on this channel, have been wondering why I haven't posted any videos in a couple of months. And I've seen it kasi sa mga comments niyo on my husband's comment section in some of his videos. And here I am, ready to share my side and answering some questions as well. My first reason was, you know, we have different ideas to share with, especially when talking about social media content. Aside from cultural differences, like ako as a Filipina and siya naman is a Welsh, syempre, as a couple, you have to respect each other's decision and opinions in order for you to get along. We may love to share naman some ideas or giving suggestions sa isang content namin. But, you know, in the end kasi, we prefer to have our own content in our own ways kasi mas dun kami nag-click eh. And we have no problem with that. And that's why na we tend to respect each other pagdating sa gaytong bagay. Kasi ayaw namin na hindi kami magkaintindi na na, which could also clash sa inyong dalawa. Another thing is that, I've met Commander D a few years ago as a typical backpacker who loves to explore, like food and most especially travel. Kaya anong sinabi niya sa akin na, na he wants his own channel to be his own thing, like gusto niya more on travel or more on with the food. Well, siyempre, as a wife, I have to respect that and, you know, no hurt feelings. I even supported him 100% with his decision kasi dun siya mas masaya eh. Same goes on me as well, where I love food, I love to travel, which both talaga kami magkaklik pagdating sa ganyang bagay. But also, he knew me kasi as a nurse eh, na who loved to serve other people. And at the same time, I also went into freelance in modeling and in showbiz career. Kaya masasabi ko talaga na we have also differences despite of your similarities in in other ways. You know, kung saan siya masaya, I am happy to. It's just na I valued more of taking care of his mental health and be his backbone all the time. Same goes for him to me as well. And, you know, hindi naman siya selfish eh. It's just that we value trust and respect to one another as mag-asawa. And, you know, having space isn't bad. You just have to give space paminsan kayo as mag-asawa. Kasi it molds you to it to grow more. The reason naman was our time schedule. You know, sa totoo lang, magkaiba talaga ang time schedule namin, lalo na pag umaga. So, when he's here in Davao, kahit na we tend to, hey, hi, good morning, how are you? Ganun ang mga peg namin. We go on different ways. Like, ako, if I have my work, I go to my work. And then, he's away naman. Doing his video, I stayed at home. When he's here naman, editing videos, ako naman, I have to go in the bukid with my with my mom to sort things out. Kaya ganun, parang nagkakaganon yung mga schedule namin. But you know, despite of different schedule, we still have time to manage our kilikili moments, yung mga, mga date-date namin paminsan. So kahit pandemic, we still have those moments, even if we're at home. And of course, along with my with my two dogs. Yeah. And since sinagot ko na yung tanong na yan, let's move on to the next question. I know you've been wondering where where's Nell? Where, where's your wife? Why I haven't seen her in her vlogs? I understand you guys. At least I shared it to you na we wanted to have it that way. Kasi, ginusto namin yun eh. It's our mutual decision. And I hope you understand that. <laughs> Feel offended? Actually, no. Huh? No joke ah. I'm sorry. This, this is my real and honest answer. I don't get offended. 
why kasi it's a mutual decision me eh. and i just don't want to to join with this videos and if i do siguro very short clip lang but i admit you tend to see him on my channel kasi channel ko yun eh and at least you're gonna see him his other self when he's with me kaya yan yung isang reason na i don't tend to join in his videos kasi he's more of type of a shy type eh, eh ako naman pagkasama namin siya eh doon lumalabas yung mga katawantaduhan namin paminsan <laughs> also mag follow na lang talaga kayo sa instagram ko and on my facebook account here it is you can see it here at the side you could check on life updates about me commander t with our two fur boys teddy and bailey and so on and so forth Well, I guess now is the big time to break my silence. My sumali. <laughs> Steady. And baby is on the other side. I know a lot of you have missed me already. And hindi pa sa inyo ha really message me personally to check if how am I or am I still okay? And you know, I'm so grateful with you guys because you remembered me. So this time, I'm gonna share to you the reasons why I took a long break. My father's death made me the reason that it took me a long time to take a break for posting any videos. And you know, I've been trying to make videos. In fact, tatlong beses pa nga, but still, I can't, I can't make it, eh. It still made me cry. Hindi siya namatay due to COVID, but rather namatay siya due to natural cause. And masama pa talaga was, he didn't die na andyan kami. So, no one from any immediate family members witnessed his death. In case you didn't know, my dad was an OFW. He spent working as a seaman for, I guess, more or less 30 years. Kasi, pagkalam ko, my dad has been working na before I was born. You know, he was still enjoying his vacation for that month. But, we didn't expect na that will be the last month na we're gonna see him again. As much as we would love to to meet together as a whole family, bro. Dahil sa pandemic, hindi talaga na na natupad. Despite na hindi kami magkakatukma na schedule, we just tend to chat together or taking video calls. Yun na lang yung only way namin at that time. You know, my dad is a good father. He's a good husband. Wonderful husband. But I was having that kay papa. Eh. My dad was a breadwinner in the family. Kaya, when he passed away, our lives really turned tables. And yun yung pinaka masakit sa part namin. Although we, we could already stand up, but iba, iba talaga pag yung halikin ng tahanan ang nawala sa buhay ng isang pamilya. Kahit na pinaka sad thing na nangyari sa buhay namin, we still have to cope up it. As elders, kailangan mo maging strength for them. Despite all those times, I'm really so thankful and grateful with my husband for being there with me. Kasi my times talaga na I'm really so down. Hindi ko lang pinapakita sa harap ng nanay at kapatid ko. You know, we're not robots eh. I'm also human. So, I'm, I'm, I'm really so thankful with Commander D for being my strength during that time. I know he's also in pain. Kasi, very close lang ni Papa eh. Pero hindi lang niya pinapakita kasi eh, he knows na siya lang yung makakapitan ko sa ngayon. 
I'm also thankful with his friends, Nicholas, Kumar, and Chandi. Because they're very sensitive to me and so at that time. And the only way for him to cope up is to divert things out. And also continue with his vlogging career despite na a check yung nangyari. I'm also thankful with Meloy, uh, my sister's um, partner. Kasi yung kapatid ko kasi ang mas grabe yung napektuhan. Ang uh, pastor yun eh, in short. I'm so thankful with Meloy kasi he was always there for, for us. Same as with Commander D. I'm also thankful with my relatives and my cousins for helping us out during the the entire uh, funeral of my dad. Laking utang na loob ko sa kanila sa totoo lang. Even for my friends, mga kaibigan ni Papa na despite na they weren't able to, to come and visit the funeral, they were still able to message my sister and send their condolences. The second reason was handling unsettled businesses. Ever since my dad passed away, kasi, more challenges are coming. <laughs> um, bro, that's already expected thing to happen. Eh. And, you know, life is not challenging. Kung wala problems, di ba? It's part of a new chapter of our life, eh, and we really connect to that. One thing that I've learned from this challenges that we encountered in our family was be careful who we trust and share with. Let's admit, most people tend to pull you down when you're at your most vulnerable moment. Diba? And in every circumstance, eh, kung saan ka vulnerable, doon ka talaga titirahin. Eh. Because that's where at your weakest point. That's one thing na namulat ako. Even my family as well. Sana na lang, pinaantay niyo na lang sana na umabot ng one year anniversary yung pagkamatay ng dad ko before making a scene. Well, hindi natin mag-isip tao eh. Also, hindi lang yun yung mga problems eh. Ang daming mga unsettled businesses si Papa na kailangan na may sorted out. Another was the nature of my work. Like what I've said in the previous video, diba, na I was a frontliner, a nurse in general, sa isang ka COVID holding facility at the time. And sa sobrang busy ko din sa work, sumabay pa yung pagkamatay ni Papa. I was really too overwhelmed to, to do things na nakakalimutan ko na pala na I had to update my channel make a new vlog but you know I was so preoccupied about what happened and the only thing that I have to focus at that time was at my work. Having my job as a frontliner kahit nakakapagod, serving other people really makes me happy. But you know, minsan kahit na nasa trabaho ako, even if I try to use this as a fuel to recover and to cope up, minsan nagtatanong ko nga sa sarili ko eh, I tend to help a lot of people that I've served with, whether it's in hospital or or in here, sa Pasiti, but hindi ko magawa-gawa sa pamilya ko. Siguro, that's one thing that every health professional had to sacrifice it for me. Masakit eh. Kasi you've been, work, you've been working, you've studied that for four years, and yet, dating naman sa sa biling pamilya mo hindi mo ma assess yung needs nila which really made me had a big pain sa heart ko kasi you no know, my dad needs me at that time and the only thing that I have in my mind right now is I should have done it better after what happened to my dad that's already an eye opener na mabawi ako to take care of my mom and not just with my mom, but my sister and especially my husband. Kasi kahit man lang sa aspeto na yun, eh, hindi ko man na fully bigay sa tatay ko, but at least I make it up with their 
remaining family that I have. The painful part lang in this reason was I found out kasi that I was already pregnant from the day when my father died. That's why I was really not ready to share na nahinig ko muna ako kumbaga. Kasi mixed emotions na yung nangaramdaman ko eh. I was really in pain. I'm in deep grief losing a father. Tapos hilaman ko na buntis pala ako. Masaya na masakit kasi a week before my dad's death kasi he was already teasing me. Me and Commander D. He even sent a photo of him carrying my sister's cat named Bibi. Na, ah, since wala pa akong apo, si Bibi na lang daw yung apo niya. And I just smiled at him. I know my dad have been waiting for so long na magkampo. Kasi we've been together for five years na eh. Masaya ko na someone left but one came. Masakit kasi hindi niya makikita yung ako niya. But I know... Sorry. <laughs> but I know he's happy out there. Kasi... kasi this child soon na kahit nasa langit na si Papa still he'll, he'll be his guardian angel I mean the baby works I'm sorry I cannot help but to cry I try ko kasi iiyak but kasi yung pinakamasakit sa lahat eh na masaya ka sana to know that you're expecting and yet wala naman sa tabi mo yung yung tao gusto gusto mo unang mapakita sa kanya na na pa this is your girl child Kaya, kaya nga, it's hard for me to to make some video at the moment kasi uh, I have to focus more in coping up sa totoo lang. But we have to move on eh, to heal our wounds. You know, aside from knowing the, the status of my condition, no? Doon ko din alaman na I guess it was few weeks after na Commander D, my husband, reached 100,000 subscribers. So, kahit na ang daming pain and sorrowful events na nangyay sa taong ito, still, I'm grateful for the blessings that arrived aside that we were expecting Commander D reach his 100,000 subscribers. You know, pagka wala ni Papa sabi ko pa, you never left us. You never, you never leave us in our side. You've been guiding us all the time. Naging, naging ilaw ka sa lahat ng mga, mga pinagdaanan namin. Not just with me and my sister, to my mom, and to Commander D as well. Another thing pa, was when Deloy proposed to my sister. Yung, ano, ang saya, ang saya. Sobra happy ako kasi kahit man nawala si Papa, na-fulfill pa rin yung promise ni Bila sa tatlo isa na we're gonna get married soon. So, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully here, um, they're gonna have their successful wedding next year. So, papangan natin yan. <laughs> and in case you're wondering why we didn't post anything, 
about my pregnancy in the past few months kahit mga videos diba kasi we want to keep it private muna gusto ko muna i sulit yung moment ko being as a pregnant or we kami dalawa ni community as a pregnant and also I have to prioritize first my health not just physically but emotionally and mentally don't worry <laughs> don't worry I'll be happy to share my pregnancy experience with you guys and that will be posted on my next video so yun lang guys <laughs> I hope you like this video. Nakiki join ng amin aso. <laughs> so meet Bailey. Hi. <laughs> so that's it for now. I've already shared my thoughts and the reasons why I took a break in the past few months, and now I'm I'm back on track. Thank you for listening and watching this video. If you like it, just hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and never hesitate to message me if you want. Okay? And andito na naman yung dalawa, nakiki-join. Kasi natapos na yung video ng mommy nila. Okay. <laughs> well, see you in the next video. Bye!